What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, just have a quick pickups video for you, uh, show off the games I got recently. First up is Little Red Riding Hood Zombie Barbecue. I got this at the clearance section of Toys R Us for about $10 I believe. Not a bad game, definitely a budget title, but uh, pretty fun to play through. Next up is a remake of the classic. Final Fantasy on the PSP. It's, um, yeah, just your standard remake, updated visuals, things like that. Still has the same feel of Final Fantasy. I believe this, I got it at, I think it was only $4 on clearance. If you could find a copy, I'd suggest picking it up. Of course, I'd suggest playing the original too. Um, next up is a classic on the PlayStation 2, the original Ratchet and Clank. Uh, this was a Greatest Hits version. I've been looking for a regular version of it, but couldn't find it. So I figured out what the hell, just get this. It's going to be the same thing. Um, pretty fun to play through still. Holds up very well. Following that up, Ratchet and Clank going Commando. I got this as part of the recent Buy 2, Get 2 sale at GameStop. Um, this is one of the games that I got free. Um, Following that up, we have Destroy All Humans, which I think this is a very underappreciated title for the PlayStation 2. I don't remember a whole lot of press for it coming uh, when it was coming out in 2005, but I rented it back then. Very fun to play. Um, basically just a video game of a B-movie alien movie from the 50s. Um, very fun. If you can find it, I think when I got this... It's only about seven bucks, so you can get your hands on it pretty cheap. Then next up, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. I picked this up, expecting, oh, it's going to be fun, you know, with the rose-tinted goggles on, per se. Um, and remembering all the fun times playing this girl growing up, but um, very frustrating. Hoping to master these games again soon. To go along with that, Mega Man X Command Mission. I have never seen this game before, so I figured out what the hell. Pick it up. This was another one of the free games I got. And this next one normally isn't a game I would play, um, but I believe it was Pete Door. I heard talking about it on the All Gen Gamers podcast. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. This game, it's pretty interesting. I'm Like I said, I'm usually not into the simulation games, things like that. But um, if you have the time to put into it, this can be a fun game. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time to sink into it, but hopefully someday soon I should be able to put a lot, good chunk of time in. So next game, I have heard so many differing opinions on. And it's Final Fantasy X2. I've heard some people say, oh, it's good. Some people say, ah, it's junk. Don't even bother with it. But um, from what i played so far, I'm only about an hour in. Really not a bad game. Um, you got it at $6.99, even though it was marked at $9.99 at GameStop. But um, pretty good pickup in my opinion so far. Then going along with the RPGs. Dragon Quest VIII, which this was also a GameStop pickup. Um, I think it was $9.99. Which, from what I've seen online, they can go from $15 plus. I picked it up because I'm playing through Dragon Quest IX on the DS. Figured out what the hell, might as well start going through the series again. And, and it seemed cheap enough and never really seen it at a GameStop you know, before or since then, so I picked it up. Else we got here. Um, Blue Dragon, which is a game I've heard quite a bit about. Uh, look forward to playing through it. I have to. There you go, knocking stuff over. Clean up the uh, sticker on there. But uh, thankfully, I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed GameStop has stopped putting the stickers on the spines of the cases, which is a godsend, in my opinion. 
the next game I got was... I think I actually picked it up after reading... Or reading, uh... Seeing Crow 111's uh, video on it. That is Fist of the North Star Ken's Rage. Uh, very fun game to play through. And it's basically a modern day brawler. That's really all I could say about it. Uh, very faithful to the source material though, and very fun to play through. Along with that is Resident Evil 5. This was an Amazon purchase. Got it when it was on sale, I think, for twelve ninety nine, which you know, I've held off long enough and I figured out oh, what the heck. Might as well pick it up. It was cheap enough. Following that is another Amazon purchase. Bayonetta. Regret not picking this up when it first came out. Uh, very fun to play through. Definitely one of Sega's better games to come out in the last few years. next one was one I was going to purchase on the Xbox or um, Xbox Live, but since I did not have the connection for it, might as well pick up the disc, which I actually like that you don't need the disc to play it, or the original disc for uh, Red Dead Redemption. It's uh, Red Dead Redemption um, Undead Nightmare. Very fun to play if you're a fan of zombies. Um, doesn't take itself too seriously. Just as fun as the original uh, Red Dead Redemption. These... Well, these last two games, I suppose you could definitely call them stinkers. Um, first one I got just because it was on sale. I believe Toys R Us, when I got it, they had a buy one, get one half off sale. So I picked up Dante's Inferno. Uh, the other one I got was... Star Wars The Force Unleashed, uh, I got that for my brother, so I figured I might as well get something for myself. Uh, definitely could have picked a better game. It's not bad, but it tries too hard to be God of War. The next one is X-Blades, which I've heard very mixed things about this one as well. Um, some people said, oh, it's good. Some people said, it's bad. My opinion, bad. But I uh, only got, I think it was for $5 or something like that on clearance. But, um, yeah. Really nothing too much to say about it. Well, that's it uh, for this video. See you guys next time.